and all the time we need to maintain the airway open. So in certain uh, cases, we need to insert invasive airway, which is the endotracheal tube. So in this video, we will demonstrate the intubation. If you are in the CBR and your patient is arrested, American Heart Association not recommended to interrupt the compression, interrupt the CBR and insert tube as, as, as long as you are maintaining the airway and you can ventilate easily or you can ventilate successfully. Otherwise, if you cannot secure the airway, yes, you need to go to the intubation. The one who is intubating has to put like plan A and B and C. Let's say plan A to insert by direct laryngoscope. That's fine. But what if the intubation was difficult? You need to call like more senior uh, practitioner or you will uh, use another equipment. In this video, we will demonstrate the equipment which is found in the crash cart related to the intubation. Delivering of the oxygen can be by the nasal cannula, face mask, and non-rebreathing mask. Now, the non-rebreathing mask is the highest tool that we can deliver 80 to 100% of the FiO2. Now, the idea from the non-rebreathing mask, it has like reservoir. This reservoir connected to the oxygen. The oxygen will give the reservoir the oxygen. It will make like container. Then through the valve, it will allow the patient to inhale this oxygen, pure oxygen. And when the patient exhale, the exhalation will go in another valve. It will not go to the reservoir. It will go outside by the another valve. Laryngoscope or laryngoscope, the important part here to make sure that the battery working well and you have the proper size of the blade. Now in the old model, they have like bulbs. In the new model, it come like disposable, one use, then they will throw it. They will not like clean it again. And it will have fiber light, endotracheal tube. ETT has different size based on the patient size and weight. Typically for the female require 7 to 8 millimeter and for the male 7.5 to 9.5. All the tracheal tube regardless what's the size has the same adapter 15 millimeter adapter which can adapted by the mechanical ventilator by the ambu bag. These numbers by centimeter reflect how many centimeter inserted to the patient. So I will tell like the level of the ATT is 24. It means there is 24 centimeter of this tool going inside the patient. ETT can be inserted either by oral or nasal. This is the ETT cuff, which designed to provide a seal. Before the intubation, we need to make sure the cuff has no leak. Use 10 ml syringe to assess the cuff leak. Here we open it, but in, in real life, please check it while it's still in the package. CO2 detector. CO2 detector is a color metric device you will put it in the endotracheal tube, then the color will change. If that one measure, there is CO2, it will become from the purple, for example, to yellow. Usually we are memorizing that one, yellow is yes. It will give the ATT a shape to facilitate the intubation. A stylet, you will apply the stylet while still the endotracheal tube inside the package. A stylet will give the uh, one who's intubating the ability to direct the uh, tube. Now it's important your stylet did not go beyond the hole. Bougie, actually I saw they are using the bougie for two purposes, either to like for the difficult intubation, they will insert initially the bougie, they will insert it 30 centimeter. After that, they will slide the enterical tube. It will be like more easy for the intubation. And the other purpose I saw them when they will change the tube. Let's say uh, your patient has enterical tube and there is a problem. They will insert the bougie, remove the old enterical tube, apply the new intracular tube. Also, we'll use bag mask valve, the suction. Now let's touch the most important like things during the intubation. First thing, you need to oxygenate the patient very well. Try to oxygenate three to five minutes, if possible with 100% oxygen. We really need somebody to look at the saturation the whole time. Now we will touch the steps for the procedure. We need to position the patient appropriately for non-trauma patient place the patient supine in his or her head in a sniffing position whereby the head is tilt the neck is extended suction the patient's oropharynx if indicated all laryngoscope will be held by the left hand grasp the handle as low as possible holding it like a hammer advance the blade through the oral cavity to expose the glottic opening when the tube inserted to the trachea we need to make sure that we are in the lung, we are not in the stomach. How we can make that one? We can detect that one by the stethoscope. You can like ascultate. Start by the stomach to check 
it's not in the stomach by stethoscope. After that, you will go to the lungs to ascultate the uh, air entry. Now you can use the CO2 detector, inflate the cuff, cure it, maintain the cuff pressure less than 13 centimeter water. We will confirm the placement of the endotracheal tube by the X-ray. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much.